in year four. I um, hope you're ready for your English lesson this morning. I'm going to share my screen with you. OK. OK, so today is Wednesday, the 27th of January. Could you write the date and the learning objective in your books now? Remember to underline it with a ruler. Well done. So you'll remember that yesterday we introduced the idea that you were going to be creating um, a persuasive leaflet this week and that you were going to um, write about the Romans and persuade the Celts that the Romans were the best people to leave that lead them. Um, today we're going to be finding out all about the Celt, um, the Romans and all about their way of life. Um, we're going to be thinking to ourselves as we research today how different and how similar it is or was to the Celtic way of life. Now remember you've been researching the Celtic way of life in our history lessons the last couple of weeks. The facts we find out today will help us to persuade the Celts to want the Romans to lead them. We hope, fingers crossed. So that's what we're hoping. We're going to really try and think today about what facts are going to be great in our leaflet when we persuade the Celts um, that we're the best leaders as Romans. So you're going to be doing some lots of research today. You're going to be doing, using evidence like we do in our history lessons today, but it is an English lesson. So I'm going to expect you to write in lovely sentences. Before we get started, I'd like you to draw a table like this in your book, similar to what you did yesterday. Now, yesterday, if you remember, you took your page, you turned it on the side, so it's landscape, and then using a ruler, you created a table, remembering to use the lines in your books. You're going to want, again, to probably leave about four lines for each box. OK, this time we need all these boxes. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. And you're going to put the subheadings, which are written here in the first box. Now, I've done them in different colours. They sort of stand out, but you don't have to do them in different colours. So the first one is education. Then homes, transport, clothing, food and drink, rulers, leaders and power, our army and fighting techniques. And then here in this part of your table, you would write all the facts that you can come up with. You can write them in bullet points, but I do want you to write them in full sentences because this is an English lesson and we want to show our lovely writing. Pause the video and do that now. Well done. Now you'll notice I've stuck a little star here because this category, this row, could be the more challenging thing to think about today. So in our evidence, there is one challenge bit of evidence that might um, be just for some of you. Some of you might fill that in, but not everybody. Let's start off. Now I'm going to go through the evidence and you are going to pause read the evidence, look at the evidence, and then fill in your sheet. So let's go through the first one. Evidence A, I'm going to read it to you. Most children did not go to school. Schools were not free in Roman times. Parents had to pay for their children to have a tutor or teacher. The poor Romans couldn't afford to educate their children, so the boys learned a trade from their fathers, and the girls learned household skills such as sewing and cooking from their mothers. Schools were built in towns and there were not many of them, so many wealthy parents employed a slave who was not well educated to teach their sons. The slave was called a pedagogue. If children went to school, the star they that should say they started from the ages of six to twelve. Lessons began at dawn and were finished by early afternoon. They learnt to read and write in Latin. OK, pause the video now and see if you can find some facts here that you could write on your in your table. Hmm. Let's look at the next piece of evidence, evidence B. This tells us all about the way the Romans used to live, the houses and towns, the settlements that they lived in. Pause the video now and see if you can find lots of information from these pictures. You might need to really zoom in to have a good look. This slide tells us all about Roman transport. 
What can you see here from the road? What can you see here from this piece of primary evidence? And this here, this replica boat. Pause the video and fill in more of your sheet. Now let's look at this piece of evidence, which tells us all about the Romans and how they like to dress. Look carefully at the pictures while I'm reading to you the piece of writing above. Only men who were Roman citizens could wear a toga. They wore it when they wanted to look smart, like wearing a suit today. The toga was made from white wool or Egyptian linen. It was square or rectangular in shape and was worn draped around the body. A tunic was all, always worn under a toga. Colours were used for special occasions or to show people's rank in the hierarchy. Only the emperor was allowed to wear purple. People dye, per, sorry, purple dye was very expensive. And so by wearing the colour, an emperor could be showing off how important he was. Pause the video now and look at E. This tells us all about the food the Romans ate. Have you noticed the little word here? Roman delicacies, snails and dormouse. Mm, yuck, that's what they used to really like. That was a special treat if you're a Roman. Now pause the video on this slide. This tells us all about the Roman army. What facts can you find about the Roman army? Now, in our Zoom lesson this afternoon, you are going to have the opportunity to interview a Roman soldier. That's right, you're going to get to interview live a Roman soldier. Um, can you think of any questions you would like to ask the Roman soldier? Perhaps as a little um, extra, you can think of some questions. And finally, here's our star challenge, everybody. So, I'm going to put that there. Have a look at this triangle shape. Pause the video. What does that triangle mean? Remember when I do this in my lessons, what am I talking about? Well done, I'm talking about the hierarchy. This shows us the hierarchy of Roman society. What does it tell us about the way they were led and how much freedom or how much power some people had? This is a bit of an extra challenge for some of you, this diagram. Well done. Now, hopefully you'll have filled in lots of information on your table about each of these categories. Now, if you would like to find out a little bit more about the Romans on your um, timetable today, you'll notice I've put a few links to BBC, the BBC, and there are links to some short videos about the Romans, about the way they ate, about their transport and their roads and about the army. So if you would like to find out some extra information, you can watch those videos now and then fill in some more on your evidence sheet. Now, remember, I'm gonna to want to see this evidence sheet. I'm gonna see in your book, so take a picture and post it on Dojo for later on, please, so I can see how you've got on.